When, uh, I mean, you obviously discussed how difficult the cover Steph was before the game, but um, when you look at what he was able to do tonight, I mean, how much of that do you chalk that up to maybe some miscommunications and guys missing the game plan, and how much do you chalk up to just not having some of the defenders that you normally would have in guys like Doe and, you know, guys like Dennis? Yeah, yeah. I, I think it is all of the above, Brian. Uh, we need everybody. That piece of it, totally agree with. And you know, every team tries to play this team a different way, how to defend them, uh, because of their actions of Clay and Steph, so high level, that they test your multiple efforts and then your ability to move on to the next play, which I talked about. And so they're gonna score the basketball and he's gonna shoot some shots that only he as a human being can make. But the 11 offensive rebounds in the first half, those have nothing to do with Steph. And so those are the physical battles that you have to win on the road. And so I lean towards those things and are more hopeful that if we would have got that part done, those shots wouldn't have had that much of a significance because we knew going in he was going to score the basketball. And so those little things I'm more concerned about at the beginning of the game, the physicality. I thought Sarich's impact on the game early was huge. Uh, and so those are the things we need to focus on, knowing that Steph was going to make plays. But yes, we need all them bodies, all of them. Jack, I was just going to ask about the offensive rebounding. I mean, you guys matched them. I get, or you had 14, they had 13, but they had more second chance points. How much did that affect just you guys being behind the eight ball a little bit? Yeah, because they turned those offensive rebounds into threes also. And so uh, uh, now you're, you're kind of, you know, two-sided that you're giving them shots that they can make and that they want to take. Uh, and then some of those possessions where you're expending a lot of energy to get a stop. And then you got to do it again and you don't get rewarded. It's negated hustle. And so uh, we want to be in a position where when we do hustle, we get rewarded for it. You mentioned going into this game that taking care of the basketball was going to be key, um, especially on this road trip. And it looked like there was like some costly turnovers down the stretch. But this team has learned how to kind of organize things. What did you see from them and what kind of affected that? It, it, they were really unselfish turnovers, too. It, it was a teammate trying to find a play for a teammate. Even even with, uh, I think, a minute and change left in the game, Nick gets a rebound. He's trying to outlet it. And we don't convert that. But his intent was right. He was trying to get it to a, to a teammate. Uh, I just think you grow in those areas, and whether you have better decision-making, maybe it's a little scaled down, and you slow things down a little bit in order to get that possession. Those are the lessons we learn.